I'm Dr. Anna Brandon, and I specialize in women's mental health. When a woman of reproductive age finds out that she has cancer, she may have difficult treatment decisions to make. Since cancer treatments might cause fertility problems, some women may want to take measures to make it more likely that they can have children after finishing their cancer treatments. This video provides information you need to know about fertility preservation options, which may increase your chances of having your own biological children after your cancer treatment is over. We'll also discuss some decision-making tips to help you weigh the pros and the cons of each option. Experts have found that people make better decisions when they have these four things. First, accurate information about the choices you have and what's involved in each choice. Second, help in understanding your own personal values, what's important to you, your family, and your partner if you have one. Third, the right kind of support people around you who can help you as you think everything through without pressuring you or making you feel as though you should do something to make them happy. And last, some level of certainty about what each outcome could mean for you in the end. We'll discuss some complicated ideas during this video. If you don't understand a specific word, please pause the video and click on the glossary button to learn the meaning. So let's get started. Here is a fertility specialist to inform you about the impact cancer treatment can have on your fertility and your fertility preservation options. Hi, I'm Dr. Jenny Mercereau and I'm a fertility specialist. I often see patients just like you who are trying to learn about fertility preservation options and make some tough decisions before cancer treatments begin. Hello, my name is Regina and I was recently diagnosed with cancer. I didn't know anything about fertility preservation before I met with my doctor. Hopefully this video will help you understand your options about fertility and cancer and make the right decision for you. Many cancer treatments can decrease fertility chances by damaging the ovaries, which contain a woman's egg supply. Even without cancer treatments, the chance of becoming pregnant drops as women get older. As this chart shows, the chance of pregnancy is highest for young women and drops off as women age. For some patients, cancer treatments cause premature menopause, meaning their menstrual cycles stop permanently and they no longer have any eggs left to ovulate. After menopause, pregnancy is extremely unlikely. In other patients, cancer treatments make pregnancy much less likely, but not impossible. Predicting the risk of fertility problems after specific cancer treatments can be tricky. However, certain things can help doctors and patients to predict how much damage cancer treatments might cause to the ovaries. For example, the type and total dose of chemotherapy or radiation is important. So is the age of the woman at the time she receives cancer treatments. For example, about one in every five women in their 30s who have the usual breast cancer treatment may develop early menopause. And some of the other four women can experience fertility problems even if they don't have early menopause. Other cancer treatments like chemotherapy before a bone marrow transplant usually cause immediate menopause in four out of five women. It's important to mention that pregnancy for cancer survivors appears to be safe. Studies of women who conceive after cancer treatments have shown no increased risk of having the cancer return, even in women who have a hormone-sensitive cancer, like some breast cancers. Other studies have shown that there is no increased risk of birth defects or cancer for the child, even in women who had chemotherapy in the past. After my doctor explained the risks to future fertility from cancer treatments, we discussed some treatment options that I could do before my cancer treatments began to improve my chances of having children in the future. It took some time for me to learn all these new words about fertility treatments and understand how to predict your chances for future pregnancies, but eventually it all made sense to me.